Okay, this is a video that will show how to install the 2GS digitizer card for Hyper Studio into a GS. So this seven pin connector is where it will connect and this is the uh, socket that the Molex connector that will go into that socket. And the red wire needs to go to the front of the GS. The other Molex connector goes into the fan jack at the back of the GS. If you already have anything connected to the 7-pin GS audio input connector, then that would go here. And if you already have anything connected to the fan connector in the back, it would go here because it's just a pass-through of the signals to whatever is plugged into these uh, sockets on the card. Okay, so then you need to mount it to a back plane. So you open up one of the holes, and then there are two screws, uh, nuts and bolts, provided to secure it to the GS. Now, the manual suggests putting the screws at an angle so that it's easier to mount, and then don't tighten them all the way. When your card is mounted, then you plug the microphone into the eighth inch jack on the back of the card. Okay, you then install the Hyper Studio software on your GS. If you have a hard drive emulator, you can copy all the files from the floppy disks onto a uh, directory of the hard drive, and you need to run it within GSOS. Um, it could also run from floppy disks. If you only want to record sound and not run Hyper Studio, you can run Sound Shop from the directory where you installed the HS Sounds disk. Okay, welcome to Sound Shop by Dave Clemus, the, the creator of the card. Okay, so now to record a sound, you um, press record here. And then you start talking into the microphone like this, Kansas Fest 2021. You stop, the space bar stops it, and then you see the audio waveform of your voice. Okay, you usually want to increase the volume more. Now oh, here's your play volume. You can bump that up to play again. And then you start talking into the microphone like this. Kansas Fest 2021. So let's try that again. Welcome to Kansas Fest 2021. So when you save the sound, it will save it with your volume. So let's save that. Okay, you have to pick a location. We'll save it in HS Sounds and we'll say KFest21. There it is, KFest21 Hyper Studio Sound. Okay, so what I recommend is that you set the record rate as high as possible and you bump up the record threshold so that uh, it won't start recording until it hears you. 
and uh, play volume around 10, leave echo off and repeat off, and then you could record a sound like this. So as a demo, I added the sound, so when you click on this... You can also launch Sound Shop from this icon.